Good morning from Zagreb, Croatia. We are starting our morning in this beautiful park on the way to the city center. And today we are gonna show you some museums around the city, eat some traditional food, and to show you what the city has to offer. We've been here a few days now and we're really loving it. We were in Split the few days before that and it was just so overly crowded with tourists, which of course we are tourists, but it's just really a nice change of pace and yeah, it's uh, really awesome here. While we're waiting for our first restaurant to open up, we decided to stop at The Sun. <laughs> it's a little graffitied. The city seems to have a lot of quirky things about it, and so far my favorite is that there's a full scaled solar system spread around the city, and as Marshall said, we found the sun. We might stumble across a few other planets today, but I just think that's such a cute scavenger hunt if you want to find all of them while you're here. Just around the corner from the sun is the entrance to go see the octagon. I don't really know what it is yet, but we went inside a building to a courtyard, I think, that's just going to have a beautiful ceiling. So the octagon is exactly what I thought it was. It's just a walkway through the building where in the middle you can stop and look up to see some beautiful stained glass in the shape of an octagon. It's free and quick so if you want something else to see around the city that's a good stop. One thing that adds to the ambiance of the city is the street music here is actually really good. It's, it's so way good. better than other cities that we've been to. There's so many. Everything, for the most part, has been very jazzy or just very soft, good mood music. I don't know. It's all been really great. Another thing about Zagreb that I really like is how at so many cafes they have statues sitting at tables and you can just share a table with a statue. I think it's so cute. So we had a few more minutes before our restaurant for lunch opened, so we figured we would walk around and try to find one of the planets, and we found one. But it's not quite what I thought it was supposed to be. Didn't realize the sizes were scaled. I didn't even realize that this is, that, that's it. I thought it was literally just the plaque. <laughs> okay, that makes me feel a little better. Yeah, I really just thought it took us to a plaque on the wall, so at least there was a planet. It was just tinier than I was expecting, which I guess makes sense for Mercury. <laughs> now time for lunch. For lunch, we're going to a restaurant that supposedly has really good traditional Croatian food. We haven't really tried traditional Croatian food in Zagreb yet, so I'm really excited to get some. From the pictures, it looks like other Central and Eastern European food, which is our favorite type of food, so I'm super excited. So to start we got the, oh I don't even know what kind of soup it is. So to start we got a soup that I don't know how to pronounce the name in Croatian, but it has potatoes, ham, and mushrooms, and it smells amazing. <laughs> mm, you're gonna love that. It tastes less savory than I was expecting to, not in a bad way, it's really good, but it's a little more tangy than I thought the soup would be. So we also got some Dalmatia beef, which is just some roast with some dumplings, and this is exactly the kind of food that we were both hoping for here. It just is very reminiscent of food in Prague. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. that, that roast is phenomenal. It's just like a like a chuck roast. It has so much flavor. It's everything that I wanted in a roast. <laughs> I don't even know. There's some paprika in it, which is amazing. The dumplings, like kanoji, are super tender. So is the beef. This is my kind of meal. <laughs> 
That was an amazing lunch. We might have to come back there one more time before we leave. That was everything we were wanting for some traditional food. For the soup, the beef, and two espressos, it was 22 euros, so not too bad. We also got like a meal or two of leftovers. Oh, that's true. <laughs> we got a ton of a ton of leftovers. So it is about 11.50 and apparently every day at noon, a cannon goes off at the bottom of the funicular in town. So we are heading over to that right now and hopefully we'll see the cannon go off. So we made it to the bottom of the funicular and we can see the cannon sticking out from the window so I think we're in the right place. I doubt you're gonna be able to see it on camera but it is at the top sticking out of this little window. <laughs> in a little while we're gonna take the funicular up to the top of the hill but right now there's a dessert shop around the corner that we want to try out that's supposed to have some pretty good traditional desserts so we're gonna head over there for a few minutes Ooh, I want some of this this looks amazing I never say no to chocolate ice cream. <laughs> this one's dark chocolate and it tastes so good. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty much just dark chocolate ice cream. Most people have tried it, so <laughs> it's good. Okay, this is, I love how <laughs> jiggly this cake is. It really, it looks a lot like Grace Lunches. It just looks like it has some moist cake on the bottom and then a layer of cream and then a layer of chocolate. So let's see. Can What's you? It called? I don't remember the second word, but it's called. I know, it's Zagrebachka, um, but I don't remember the second word. It's Zag Zagrebachka something. It originated in Zagreb, as you can get by the name. I don't want to keep using the word moist, but it's so moist. That was so easy to cut through the cake. <laughs> or just, just glided right through. I think it's very similar to first lunches, but it's more. The cake is more creamy. It's not as much like like porous cake that you can tell it's cake, but it's just actually very creamy kind of dough. I don't what am I trying to say? Do you want to try some? Yeah. Took it apart. It took away its structure. Oh my god, it's gonna fall off. <laughs> it is more creamy. Yeah, it's just like a creamy here tres lattes. And I love Tresachas, so <laughs> it's really good. We were gonna take the funicular to the top of the hill because it's less than one euro to go one way, but it's super short and there's a staircase right next to it. And this way we get to watch it going up while we're walking up, so <laughs> maybe next time. If you do wanna ride the funicular, I think it said it was 66 euro, or ooh, gosh. <laughs> 66 euros is wrong. It runs every 10 minutes and again is less than a euro one way. When you're going up the staircase next to the cathedral, if you stay right on the path, it'll take you to a viewpoint over the city where you can get a great view of the cathedral. Unfortunately, the cathedral is completely covered in scaffolding right now, but it's still a great view to see. We just got out of one of the most interesting and actually strangely one of the most popular museums in all of Zagreb. It's the Museum of Broken Relationships. And so it really just has a bunch of different stories that people have donated along with memorabilia from their relationships. Um, we were expecting it to not be as dark because it was kind of advertised as like a, a little bit of a lighthearted museum. There definitely were quite a bit of funny stories, but a lot of it was pretty sad and, and tragic. Still, it was a really it was really interesting and there were probably more than 50 pieces of memorabilia from people's relationships with stories accompanying them. So it took a while to go through and we didn't even read everything. My favorite one was from Denver and it was a toaster and the plaque said, 
how are you going to toast anything? Or what did it say? It was like, <laughs> I took the toaster, that'll show you. How are you going to toast anything? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, they had them from all over the world. It was pretty cool. Definitely a good experience. I'd recommend it. And it was pretty cheap as well. Yeah, how much was it? It was seven, seven, euros, seven per. euros per person. Yeah, so not too bad. As soon as you walk out of the museum, you get such a great view of the St. Mark's Church. It's just right up the hill from it literally like a 30 second walk from the museum. Unfortunately, we are here while both this church and the cathedral are temporarily closed. So I don't think we could go in either, but we had to come up and see it because it is just so gorgeous. The tiles remind us of being at the Fisherman's Bastion in Budapest, which was my favorite part of Budapest. So we definitely had to come visit this. The tiles are so vibrant and in great condition. It looks so good. There's still a little bit of a construction around this like there was with the cathedral, but luckily for this one, you can still see all of the tiles in the main part of the church. So it's still worth a stop through the construction even that you can't go in it. So that was our last stop here in Zagreb. We got to see some really amazing things and eat some really good food. I think Sabrina's and my favorite might have been the Zagrebashka, which was such an amazing <laughs> dessert. That was your favorite too? I didn't think you were going to uh, like it at all. Or the, the, the Dalmatian beef, that was probably actually my favorite. But we're going to finish it off with some extra clips from the museum and we'll see you next time.